first of 15 games the Wallabies will play in 2014. The build-up to Rugby World Cup 2015 begins in earnest. And we're underway. First of three tests. And that's a fine start by Nacional. Got it away to Lord Drago. And he has support with him. Immediately, they put it through the hands. Having an early rumble. This is the youngster, Gail Fiku in 13, up towards the halfway. Michelin picks up the South African born, Bernard LaRue. Back to the left they go, Michelin, and the fullback is up, Hugo Bombal. Gee, Michelin's getting some touches on the ball early. They go to the short side, Vaha Mahina couldn't control it, and so the Wolbies. Big numbers left on it. Over. And they do go wide, and it is Falau, beat one. Up over halfway, Israel Falau. Full back on, full back, and the tackle is good from Bonval. White gets there, Foley. Oh, They're up very quickly. Midfield. Advantage yeah, being played, we've got a man down in back play, and Stephen Moore, the captain, who's to Moore, takes it forward up towards the 22. Push back. White. And Simmons, White waits for it, gives it to Palu in his 50th Test match. More numbers left for Bernard Foley, out wide. And Foley goes to the line, then gives it to Kurandrani. Advantage again for the Wallabies. They work it to the left, and it's Foley. Back to White. Dummies puts it on the toe for Cummins to chase, but nothing happening there. So we will come back, and it is a penalty just to the left Previous of the uprights. Three blue First offside. penalty of the match. We can go sideline to Rod Kafer. Really see the intention, Clarky, from both teams early on as we see Stephen Moore getting some treatment. And conditions are fantastic. No breeze really to speak of. The ground's dry and uh, Sharpie. Not often we see. Stephen Moore down with an injury. Yeah, troubling signs there. He, he's in a little bit of. A... He's not happy, is he, Shubby? His left knee, I think it is. His kneecap. Yeah, they're, they're, they're certainly working on his left knee. And let's see if we can see what. Oh, he's oh, pushed it down. Medial ligament by the look of it, his left knee. Yeah, awkward fall there. Let's hope he's all right. Yeah. A great start from France. They've really thrown the ball around. And I tell you what, if both teams take this type of attitude to the rest of the game, we're going to watch a fantastic battle. Great play from both sides, wasn't it, when Freddie Michelak he's certainly shown his intentions early on, getting a lot of touches on the ball with plenty of options outside of him. 78% in Super Rugby in the goal-kicking department. Made his test debut against Argentina last year. Former Australian sevens captain. And what a big moment for him here. No problem. Over the black dot it goes. Those bold enough to wear gold in the crowd are happy with that start. It is 3-0. Stephen Moore getting back to his feet midfield now. They're strapping up his medial ligament, which is on the inside of your knee. It's a very tough rooster. He, you don't want to go off after three minutes in the match in your first game as captain. His 92nd test match. He is the most experienced Wallaby hooker ever. And there's a mistake from the kickoff. Uh, he's gone, Stephen Moore. He's really struggling in back play. Well, that is terribly bad luck for the Wallaby captain. But it is France with an opportunity to hit back through Marchano. Giving it out to these big forward runners up towards the 22. LaRue can't find a way through there. Moore making the tackle. Marcelo Michelac, out the back door it goes, and it is Fafana taken by Kepu. Marcelo, Kepu got it away to his captain, Mas. Wallaby so far defensively, a little bit unstructured. Field goal. Oh, and they have a crack. And it is over. It's over. So, Michelac. You just cannot give him any centimetres whatsoever because he will steal it. And he levels the score at 3 all. Yeah, wonderful play, Freddie Michelak. Had a couple of cracks at it. They would have liked to have had a few more, but straight through the, off the post, the left-hand post. Stephen Moore in a lot of trouble in back play. I think he's going to be coming off the field, Kaif. Definitely is. 
we've been chatting here. It's a tough football on an hour's ready to come on. He'd be devastated. Steve, you know him really well, Sharp. He'd be great devastation for him. Yeah, I think okay, Steve's the sort of guy who'd be more, more disappointed because it you know disrupts what the team has put in place throughout the week. But I, I can tell you what, Kate, he was really battling there in, in back play and take a lot for Steve to come up, particularly on a night like this and Let's hope it's not too bad for Australia's sake moving forward. France starting well though, they're really getting out of the advantage line and Tim as you said they explored a few options. Michelac sat back in the pocket and decided to take the three points that were on offer. And he'll do that again tonight if they get to that same predicament, I'm sure. Split kick off again for the Wallabies. Options either side for Bernard Foley. And he's going to go out to the right. Uh, we need plenty of luck in this game at this level. Last year, Stephen Moore. Started in all 15 test matches, started in the first in 2014, but didn't last any more than five minutes with a knee injury. Good pressure, Michael Hooper there, getting through very quickly. And Michael Hooper has taken over the captaincy. Started as vice captain with Adam Ashley Cooper, so plenty of responsibility on young shoulders, just 22 years of age. To tough with a lot of now, well, it's a handy replacement to have. It's his 47th test appearance. Good line out first up there for the Wallabies. Yes. Three all at Suncorp. A lot of now has it at the back. Now White takes it, gives it to Foley. Kepu. was calling Drani the big centre and that's a poor pass over on the far side with yeah, a space for blocker was just outside to Vita Kurandrani as well good ball from Bernard Farley yeah. he really wanted someone just off his left hand shoulder to Vita Kurandrani it was a good tackle from Gal Fiku the 20 year old outside centre for France Udraga very very good line out jumpers for France will march the troops Surely takes it. Contact in there. Contact in there. Penalty goes against the Wallabies. Opportunity to, for France to get it into Australian territory. Rob Simmons calling the line out plays for the Wallabies. Shalak finding touch. Diffic right. Difficult there. Surely jump right across the line. Rob Simmons trying to contest, but he can't wrap his arms around his opposite jumper there. As soon as those arms come around him in a hug type motion before he's hit the ground, that's a penalty immediately. He's got to cut that out. Another short line out, five man line out for the French. Girardeau finds Maestri. 10 metre mark, Australian Territory. Inside ball, Bouget got it away, Fiku throws one over the top now, but he can't find a way through the boys. Scrambling defence by the Wallabies, but exciting play from France. Now it's Michelac, flat pass, the referee was right on the spot, he says it's okay, spills out the back. Michelac again, pops one over the top to Fafana. Oh, Fiku on the inside, but now he flicks it up to Bay Street. Must score to the left. Le Bleu. Oh, they keep it alive, and it's been intercepted by Cummins. Okay, so for a good pass. An advantage is being played for a forward pass, and the advantage is now over. It's in the touch around about the 10 metre mark, Australian territory. Somehow they were able to defuse that raid by Le Bleu. Wonderful play by the French. Lovely little set-piece play. Michelac, a lovely little ball back inside. And I thought Fafana was going to come through here, and it went wide. Laboris, they just panicked a bit too much there, the French. They had plenty of options. They've been working on that inside ball during the warm-up all night. So expect to see lots of it. Who bounce? Now White with the box kick. It'll come down for Felix. Laburis, he leaves it behind and it's been picked up by Hooper. We'll play the first knock on by Laburis. A lot of selection debate this week about Wilgenia and Nick Watt. 
Okay, I feel Nick White's kicking game, his long kicking game, his huge right boot that he's got, tells me maybe the Wallabies are going to kick a lot from the base of the set piece or, or rucks, particularly when they're clearing, just like they did then. I think it's a tactic they've got with him in there, but it's been his passing game that I think has probably defined him this season at the Brumbies. His pass off the ground has been very sharp, typically tends to, to put the ball out in front of his runners all the time, really invites his first receiver to move hard onto the ball. First scrum, Mind. big opportunity. Yeah, the Wallaby back on how flat they are. Adam Ashley Cooper, midfield in between the centres. Penalty goes to the Wallabies, scrum okay, penalty. Down. Losing Vine, touch it. Yeah. Nicholas Mass penalised there, the captain. Just losing his bind on the right hand side there on the tight head side. Closest to the referee from Montpellier, the French club. Wallabies conceded 70, uh, seven scrum penalties. Seven scrum penalties in Paris in 2012. They uh, held scoreless in the second half by France for the first time in 54 years because of a poor scrum. So they'll be pretty happy with that penalty going their way. 11 minutes gone. Bernard Foley. Fourteen metres in from touch. It's off the uprights. Bouncing around. And eventually it will be placed in goal by Johan Rouge. And the Wallabies only had one chaser there, it was Adam Ashley Cooper coming through there for the rebound off the upright. Bernard Foley's first miss for the night. Freddie Michelak to restart play. And Simmons can't control it. Now, Rob Simmons didn't have any lifters there whatsoever. They he was backing back and was looking for Sakopi Kepu to lift him up. Both teams only a short time to prepare for this match. There's only a possession for France. Come in here, goals. Come in, goals. Crouch! Point set. <laughs> Hits and chase goals. Hits and chase. Hit and hold, please. A short arm penalty, so you can't kick for touch and pick your own line out back, but Freddie Michelin steps up now. You must take another scrum. It's really your only option. Just come here. Both teams just testing each other out. The Wallabies. Come, come close. A penalty yeah. already in this. In this game taking three points probably getting a little bit ahead of themselves there trying to push before the ball was in you can't do that the scrum's got to be stable these days before the halfback is allowed to feed the ball into the scrum just saw a shot of wallaby coach Ewan mckenzie down Crouch. on the sideline bind set maxine Michelin puts it in for france Advantage. Advantage has been played for France. <laughs> well, well. No advantage. Gold around the corner. Stay straight. Craig Jubert making sure that the Wallaby team knows. Michael Hooper, the new captain now that Stephen Moore's left the field. He's, he's got this side first, mate. Wallabies for walking around as we see that ball go well and truly into touch. France now with an opportunity to perhaps more than other lineup. They attempted that last time they were down this end of the field. They're leaving the second row of Sharpie Vaha Amamina in midfield. So once again, another five man line out. Yeah, in France, they, they tend to play different roles depending on their jumping abilities. You see, France off the top. I should know to Michelin. 
opening it up in midfield, Sebastian Vahamahina. Switch it play. Kick over the top from Mabonval. And claiming the mark there is Adam Ashley Cooper. Keeps it pretty low. And straight into the bread basket of Hugo Bonval. Across to Michelac. They're saying it's to knock back. And now it's out on the full. Oh, poor play. Freddy Michelac. 20 minutes in front. I can't rule on this. He had a lot of space there too. He's very disappointed in that play. He just can't get into the rhythm, though, Rod K for the... He kicks too much ball away tonight for the first because they've got to play a bit more with ball in hand. Well, I think they've done that. They've they've looked to use the width, Tim, with their passing game. They've you know, switched back play there moments ago. Their wide passing game's been very good. Their running line's good as you expect. They're really trying to stretch the Wallabies. Good line out from the Wallabies to Moore. Out of the left they go. Fardy. Taken by Shuri. Inside ball from Foley to Cooper. Girardo, good tackle from the hooker. Debutant, Carter. Simmons. Slipper. Looking to offload. Goes to ground. White. He's a snipe. Numbers left is Ralph Allows lurking. Sam Carter up to the 22. Nothing happening down the short side. White. Pick up from Foley. Drops it onto the left foot. And comes off one of the French players, but he's playing advantage. That's your feet. Yeah. So Bernard Foley now has another chance in a very similar position than his last penalty. Penalty was for the player leaving his feet at the breakdown, but midfield, the French backline players, Wesley Fafana and also Gal Fiku, are racing up midfield and trying to stop the Wallabies going wide and forcing them back in field. Hugo Bavar. And they're turning down the opportunity for three points. And Jamua brings it into touch. Five or six metres out from the corner post. The back. The other thing that's quite noticeable about the way that France are defending, they're not competing for the ball at all at the tackle. Letting the Wallabies have it and setting their defensive line well. Sharper here, Wallabies will be looking for a drive, surely. Yeah, you think so. One by Simmons. Pops out the back and White gives it to Foley. Michelet controls him. Through the middle of the rock, no problem. Jamie Shuley, the number eight, coming through the middle of the breakdown. Going to come back for Australia, though. Fardy. White. Carlu. Hands it off to Simmons. Salah. ground last year and he's on the score sheet tonight. Yeah, wonderful play from the Wallabies. Patient play. Israel Folau has been lurking in behind the breakdown for the last five or six minutes and he's been wanting to go to the left-hand side of the field. Lovely play there and what a ball. I think that was James Slipper. Get an offload away and Israel Folau so hard to beat one-on-one. -on -one. You're right to me about his lurking. He's been looking in there just tracking the ball. He's been itching to get his hands on it. And you just get that glimpse that every time he touches the ball, something can happen. He makes things happen in and around the ball. What about the ball here from the birthday boy, James Slipper, just popping it up to Israel for the help. Yeah, it's a cracker. Does a great job of keeping that ball alive. And that's, that's the advantage of the Wallabies, not dying with the ball, looking to use it, looking to keep it alive. Of course, everybody in the crowd, including the bench, happy. See how we go, Ben. Slipper receiving some treatment. 
right ankle getting strapped up over the top of his boot at the moment. Salau in 2013, his debut season. Most tries for the Wallabies, most line breaks, tackle bus, offloads and run meters. Scored 10 tries to equal Lonnie Jakiri's season record for Australia. And he scores the Wallabies' first try in 2014. Really starting to read the game well in 2014, Clarkey, compared to last year. Been able to have a good look at the back. The line breaks, 18 line breaks last year, tackle bus 66. Michael Checker, the coach of the Waratahs, picked him at fullback last year. Not on the wing, he's been able to really learn the game. Foley about five metres in from touch. And this one's going to hold its line. It's down the middle. Over it goes. So it's 10 points to three. Just some combinations early the Wallabies are trying to work on. Nick White, also Bernard Foley. Nick White, watch the dart around the edge of the breakdown. His forward runners need to know he's going to do that and get there quickly to support him. It's at least experienced 9, 10 and 12 combo to play in Australia since 1994 against the New Zealanders. So... Not a lot of experience there. And having body on the line was the try scorer for Lau. That's better from Whitecliffe Palu. Needs to get involved. And Val doing a good job to keep it in the field of play. Michelak kicking. Now two for Lau. Slide fumble, but he just manages to hold on. Across it goes to Foley. Kicks down the centre of the park. Hi. That's good play from Bernard Foley. Saw the space in the middle. Maxine Machineau, the halfback, covered it well. They weren't like overly happy with that exit. The Wallabies coming out of their own half. The Spent a lot of time this week and, and even last year really making sure they get out of their own end, getting up the other end of the field so they're out of the, the danger zone. I'll need to work on that. The win from Carter to Mura. Trying to dummy this to Foley. And the tackle for Fana. That's a good run from Matt Mura across the advantage line. Short side, Adam Ashley Cooper. Simmons up over halfway. Just holding on to one leg was Nicholas Bus. Holy to Mua. Andrani straightens. The defence France. Now it's Foley running to the line again. Up the high one there. Reckless tackle, playing advantage. As White now gives it to Foley, drops it on to the left foot and chasing is Nick Cummins. He's taken five metres out. It's still there for the Wallabies, though. And they drive towards the line, looking for their second try. Carter gives it to Kepu. Kepu, five metres out. White, now Simmons. Not Simmons, a slipper in his 50th. Foley, Foley lunging for the line. Find me. White. It comes back for Tamua. He brings it out to Adam Ashley Cooper. Simple try in the end. 27th test try for Australia. Adam Ashley Cooper in his 92nd test. That was good play from Nick White. Good vision. He was picking the right runners. Defensively, the French were numbering up. But in the end, I'm not sure who it was racing up. Might have been Galfiku looking for the intercept in midfield. Bernard Foley putting a lovely little kick through. Just didn't sit up for Nick Cummins. Did extremely well to get it back. And then a lovely ball out wide. Yeah, Gal Ficur was coming through for the intercept and really unsettled defensively their pattern for the French. And Adam Ashley Cooper, as he does, finishing brilliantly. Yeah, nice timing from Matt Tamua just to hold it off. Ref cam up nice and close. Finishes it 
Paul Smiles on the bench. And Adam Ashley Cooper, one of three survivors from the 2008 victory by the Wallabies over France at this venue. Another two more, who's already been replaced tonight, and Horwell, who's on the bench. Foley trying to bring it around again. It's off the right hand upright for the second time tonight. Stephen Moore ice on his left knee there, medial ligament strain. Hope it's not too bad for him. The 81st Wallaby captain left the field after three and a half minutes. Fifteen points to three. Andy lead for the Wallabies. There's Michelin kicks off taken by Simmons and the penalty obstruction, obstruction, obstruction against the Wallabies three goal in front of the ball carrier three goal in front of the ball carrier so penalising Sokopi Kepu being in front of the ball carrier I think Sokopi Kepu was the one also who lifted Rob Simmons he did Timmy and he clearly stepped around too far he got his body in between the French defender Rob Simmons and as soon as it happened penalisable offence he could see Joubert Nailed him straight away. Frederick Michelac hasn't played for four weeks. He plays for the French club Toulon, where Matt Kiddo and also Drew Mitchell are playing with Johnny Wilkinson. Won the Heineken Cup final a couple of weeks ago and then the top 14 final last weekend. Michelac didn't play, but wanted to stay and support his team. Only got out here Tuesday afternoon. 367 points for France. 380 is the record. And yeah, Michelac, no problem from there. They race again, 15 points to six. Something for the French and the crowd to cheer about. French reserves there. Morgan Parra, reserve halfback. Number eight, Damien Chuli. Number 22, Ashino over the top to Falau. Foley. So they're not frightened to take it into contact, the fly half. Standing skipper, Michael Hooper. Simmons Fardy. See the French not competing at the breakdown. Carter. Not sure if he tried to offload that to Cummins or whether it popped out the back, but it's just gonna be a scrum feed to France. Yeah, the Wallabies forwards are just struggling to find their rhythm with their runners that are coming around the corner off Nick White. Defensively, the, the French forward pack are sprinting out across the field and not attacking at the breakdown, which is giving them more numbers in defence. Boys are not great at this stage. Closer, he's getting with his. Yeah, Timmy. Perhaps a bit of an idea. The Wallabies, they might start to look at the pick and drive, going through the centre there if they're spreading out and fanning and waiting for their runners to come around the corner. They might have to look at that and readjust their strategy as the game wears on. Set. Penalty oh. against France on their put-in. Bind down. And a three blue. Well, that's, that's the second time the captain Nicholas Mus has been penalised for losing his bind on the tight head side. We've got a call from the assistant referee, Craig Jabir. Mus, uh, the second most capped French prop behind Sylvain Aconet with 84 test caps, 72nd test cap for Mus, and he's given away a couple of penalties already. Looks like Nick White taking this penalty. Longer range shot. Bernard Foley not happy with his last couple of shots at goal. In the upright on both occasions. Been in great form for the Brumbies in Super Rugby. Will Guinea not in the match day 23.
First attempt tonight for Nick White. Will it come around? Oh, shaves the upright on the wrong side. So it's still 15 points to six. Well, the French so far have only had 39% of the possession in this match. They had a lot of it in the first five to seven minutes. They need to get their hands back on the ball to get themselves back into this game. Mistake by the Wallabies. Bartage is over. As Leroux has a run. Marshall carried back into the 22 to Michelac. One bounce into touch. That's smart play. All his line out so far has been very strong. The change of hooker hasn't affected things too much. It's a good sign. They need that part of their set piece to be really stable source of possession for them. You see Rob Simmons doing a good job so far. Five man on it again. Wycliffe Parley waiting midfield. Good right out again. White kicking. And he won for Jay. Claiming the mark inside the 22. 10, 10. Just a bit long from Nick White. Right option, Nick Cummins coming through. And Uge did well. I'll be happy with that. Good result now. A great opportunity for the Wallabies to utilise their line out and release the ball to the back line. They've gone back to a more traditional line out. Seven man all in, scrum half and half back. They're going to win it quickly, get it off the top. The Cummins ready in the back line for a run. Good by Simmons. That's good work. A drive behind Cummins. Now it's Foley. And Salau beat run, as he usually does. Over the 22 he goes. Carter. Oh, no room there for Sam Carter. And pretty hard by Bay Street, but it's still there for the Wallabies and a good ball at the Simmons and ball over. A clear up to the line, Michael Hooper. Top time, Australia. Ben, we'll check something look. upstairs. Obviously, lost pass. They're checking to see if the pass Thanks. was flicked on. I think it was Bernard Farley. Out wide, flicked it on. Whether that pass has gone forward. Michael Hooper, 30 metre run of the try line. Rob Simmons, not to beat a coup and Drani, it was just flicking it on to Michael Hooper. Some lovely hands through that play though by the Wallaby back line. Has that ball gone forward? That's the question they're asking. Let's look at it. It was good pressure from Maxine Marchanel, the halfback. Television match official is Ben Skeen from New Zealand. No problem with the grounding. Broadcaster has confirmed all angles have been shown. Right, uh, Ben, from where we're standing, we believe it does go from the uh, guy's hand in a forward direction. Is that, does that line up with what you're seeing? Great. Can I just show you another angle on that, please? Right, another okay, replay? Yeah. Sure, we'll just have another look. Well, the very experienced Craig Schubert and Chris Pollock, the assistant, think it went forward. Television match official is not so certain. Well, if it goes back to the referee, he'll rule it going forward. The assistant referee, he, 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 he stands on the side. enough of those. Um, so having another closer look at it, I actually believe you quite right. It does go from his hand backward. Certainly not forward, and therefore I'm ordering a trial. Craig, I completely agree that there is no clear or obvious yeah. pass forward. You may award the trial. Okay, thank you. 
Try to the Wallabies and to Michael Hooper. It was the high shot that showed that came out of the back of the hands initially. Yeah, early on, it was a good pass too from Bernard Foley. Quick hands. As the French backs are racing up midfield and trying to shut the Wallabies down before they get the opportunity to go wide. To Vitaku and Drani flicking the ball on Michael Hooper, one of the fastest players in the team. Bernard Foley, two from four, takes the kicking duties back. Just a couple of metres in from touch. Three tries already for the Wallabies. But two from five in the goal kicking department. And this one is over. 22 points to six. Wallabies over France. Obviously firmly in control of the game now. Wallabies just need to keep the foot on the throat. Neil McKenzie won't be happy if they take it off at all. Let's we'll see if they can do it. So Michelin kicks off. No pressure on Simmons this time. The charge, Whitecliffe Palu getting himself involved in the match. Fardy. White in the pocket is Foley. He's pretty long with it. It's the halfway. French with some work to do here. We should have a little flat. Bombal still on the halfway. And the flat footed, they need some momentum here, the French. Need some forward runners to get across the advantage line. Use it! Rodrago. Six from halfway. Big hit, Sam Carter midfield. Michelot looks up and spots the gap and it is into touch. Again, very suspect clearance from the Wallabies. Kick off receipt went nicely. They just didn't get the result they would have been looking for from that clearing play out of their own half. And again, they're going to be forced to win this line out. I think what's no. happening, Sharpie, is they're not getting far enough past the 22, are they, in the restart receipts? Have a good win by Simmons. The the back. It's up in the air. So Domingo grabs it for France. Good turnover. Girardo. Quick hands for Fana. Oh, just lost his footing over the 22. And then a slight fumble. Six goals so, no advantage. So they'll come back to the previous mall, the spot of the previous mall, and it's a penalty to France. And it's got Fadi penalised for the Wallabies, but there was some space just outside. It was Wesley Fafana and Galfiku. Bernard LaRue was just off his right-hand shoulder as he made the half-break. <laughs> Drago there. He climbed straight through the middle of this line-out. Moored exceptionally well. That's surely there. He's done a very good job in wrapping up. Obviously, well, White Kukali come in, getting a shot off. That's where the penalty was for. Scott Farley was in behind the ruck. Again, the Wallabies getting caught in their own end. Need to clear these exits up. It's another good strike. Flags are up again for Frederick Michelin. His first test in Australia since 2005. Made his test debut against South Africa in 2001. So he's been around for a long time. Okay, thanks, 22 points to nine. You can see Bernard Foley there. He's got forward runners to the right and left, so he can choose where he'd like to go. First kick of the game went straight down the middle of the field. It's a bit of crew and Drani coming through. It's a good take from Damien Shirley. Michel taking the tackle. Use it! No, she 
into touch around about the halfway mark. That's Three great. minutes remaining. Back to great clearance. One of his play on quickly. And Ashley Cooper did extremely well. White. And now Slipper. Making by Girado. Tomorrow. The ball and all tackle. White. Big by now. Kurandrani. Flat footed to Vita Kurandrani. Nowhere to go. Slipper. Yeah, good hands there from. Queensland teammate Simmons and White to Palu. Got away from one. The tackle of Trulli. Sebe to Falao. He takes some stopping. He tackle the end from Fiku. Volley flat pass and running through the hole is Simmons needs support. It's not there. Clean out was a bit late, so a turnover to France. Oh, and that's a poor pass for Labouris. Well, they're going to go upstairs here to see if the French have absolutely butchered that one and offered up a five-pointer to the Wallabies. Ben, you're in the frame. Try no try, please. Checking footage, try no try. Yeah, thanks. A rain explosion from the French. Machinot, I think it was, the halfback. He wanted to go back to the right-hand side, then he went left. He only had one player there. Labouris... Oh, missed it there and missed it there. That's try time. Manny Tamua pouncing, putting pressure on. Boris just couldn't pick it up. He wanted to actually place it down. Well, it was comical in the end. And Tamua says, well, if you don't want it, I'll take it. I'll take the five points. Looks like it's going to be his third test try. Is that downward pressure there? That's what they're looking at that first time it went across the line, Cove, okay, yep. Yeah. Could go either way here. Oh, it's got to be a try. Labouris. Has it got any downward pressure there? He's trying to pick that up, okay, <laughs> surely. <laughs> He's definitely trying to pick it up. Just needed to push it down. No question, Matt tamil has got downward pressure. Great, I have a decision. Yeah, standing by Ben. You may award the try. Thanks. Fourth try to the Wallabies. And it's Matt Tamua who steals it. A couple of minutes before half time. 27 points to nine. There's a, there's a lovely ball early on from Bernard Foley though to put his second row. Rob Simmons through the space. He was on his own, there was a turnover. A couple of things the Wallabies haven't done well tonight has been their support work to the breakdown. They've been very slow to get to the tackle player. A lot of guys sitting on their heels a little bit when when the ball carrier is making a half break. And what's a bit unusual for the Wallabies is having a team not competing at all at the breakdown against them. And they're finding themselves on the front foot with a bit of momentum and a bit of a roll on. Okay, perhaps a little bit of uncertainty as to the way they're trying to play with the patterns of play. They've only had... You know, two or three training sessions together. That may have something to do with it. But you're right, their urgency is just not quite there tonight. Foley. Another two points. 29 points to nine. That's Australia over France. Just from the sideline, France really need to be careful. They don't go away here. Their body language is telling me they're looking a little bit frazzled. They're losing their way a little bit and some mistakes starting to creep in. It could be an ugly night for them if they continue on this vein. Well, you think that their coach, Philip San Andre, may change a few people at half time or just after half time to get some fresh legs on. Good carry from Slipper. Two seconds remaining in the first half. It's James Slipper's fifth carry for this half. Foley happy to put it into touch as the halftime siren sounds. So that is the biggest points haul in the first half on home soil for the Wallabies since 2007. Four tries. Falau, Ashley Cooper, Hooper and Tamua. And the drop goal and two penalties to uh, France. So 29 points to nine. We can now go to Rod Kafer. Here with Michael Hooper, a pretty comprehensive uh, first half.
Yeah, it's been nice. You know, we've been able to exit all by one time and get out our own end. It's been good. Other teams look pretty confident, maybe a little bit slow getting to the tackle player. Some turnovers on offer. Uh, for us or for them? Both. Yeah, I think for, you know, we're recycling ball quickly, so we're going to have to lock that down and keep carrying. I mean, our carries have been excellent so far. Yeah, four tries to the Wallabies. Michael Hooper, the captain at the moment in this Wallaby team because Stephen Moore at the leave the field with a knee injury. He'll have scans later. Hopefully it's not a, a long-term injury to the new Wallaby captain, Moore. Outside. 29 points to nine. And to Moore. It's pretty long. Damien Shuley will run it back towards halfway. Got rid of, rid of uh, Foley, and over halfway he goes. Bombal over the top and almost regathers. Cummins is there. He's taken by Gail Fiku. Cliffy playing his 50th test match. Dropping back into the pocket again is Tamua. And there's a bit of space for the French. Freddie Michelac. Michelac running it back to the halfway. Cross field. And he was an easy target for Fadi. LaRue to the 10 metre mark. Us, the captain. Sebastian Mahina. Handley goes against the attacking team. Big work by the Wallabies. He's on his feet. Good work, Scotty Farty. Did extremely well last man. Off the ground. French penalised for not releasing the ball. Ewan McKenzie, the coach of the Wallaby team, talking to Stephen Moore on the sideline. French forwards are just too flat-footed with their play, and Scotty Fardew is allowed to get across, make the tackle, and get over the ball very quickly. But uh, Abamina was the one that was caught with the ball flat-footed. French reserves, but they're climbing up, up, up the west, two to France. The Tafu Pilota now. Line out 30 metres out. And again, the line out works well for the Wallabies. A flat pass to Kurundrani. They just managed to shut him down. Now it's Fardy. Flings one over the top and the bounce is okay in the end for the Honey Badger. Got him out. Tackle by Maestri. Big numbers to the right of Matt to move. Get the ball quickly. It's slow ball for Nick White. And he goes against the Four Wallabies this time. Player. On his feet, all the rights, holding on. Noticeable change in the French tactics now. Much heavier on the ball. First few rucks, they're really starting to compete. First half, they just left it alone. Philippe Saint André has obviously said to them at half time, let's get stuck in at the breakdown. Don't give the Wallabies that easy front foot ball that they can just utilize the power and pace in their back line to capitalize on. will be about three or four metres inside Wallaby territory. French haven't come back from a half-time deficit to beat the Wallabies since 1989. Might have been the two-year on, Tim Hall. Well, I think it was, we won the one in Strasbourg, the first test, second test in Lille. We were in front at half-time. Good hands at the end from Bouget on halfway. That should I. Yuvado. Amahina. He's keeping it tight. Truly. He's been good, Damien Truly. Number eight for France. And he runs. That pass there from Michelet.
for Drago. Simple stuff, but taking some meters. Just trying to get some momentum now, the French. Girardo, pick and drive. They're trying to bring the Wallaby defensive players in closer. Lewis. That's a good ball. Flat pass, but the gap soon closed. Sam Carter did well. 13th phase for the French. Oh, oh, what a tackle. Palu. Palu special. There it goes out to Fiku. Plenty of gold juices around him, but he got away from Tamua. Machado and Fafana. Ending up is Bombal. Good pressure from Michael Hooper coming through on Wesley Fafana. Up to the 16th phase now. Michelin to his captain. Yes. Well, like again, cut out pass. Oh, and then it all comes to nothing. Tomorrow, Domingo drops it. Cole. What's he doing out there? Tomar Domingo on the 18th phase, sitting out wide. There's a tackle there from Michael Hooper on Wesley Fafana. France was really starting to get a bit of momentum through the rucks there. They were picking and driving that little short passing game. Fafana hit that line nice and tightly near the ruck. Perhaps they should stick to that rather than trying to go wide. They're really Help running me, just by giving your shoulders giving up the wall. He's had too much time to get up in their face and in their space. Just stay the kid trying to hit those hole runners at Fafana and Gal Fiku, the outside centre. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Come coming closer. Yep. Let's watch from Mars. See if he can maintain his crush. James Sibley has played well tonight in his 50th. Bind. Set. He's done well, James. Look up. Six runs so far, six tackles. Good offload. Okay, say what you mean. Okay. He's also scrummaged well against one of the best tight ends in the world, Timmy. It's been a good performance so far. James Slipper on this side, number one for the Wallabies, up against the captain, Nicolas Mas. Crouch! Bind! Set! Yeah. The scrums have been a bit of a mess tonight. That's only the second completed scrum for the match so far as Palu has a run. The debut on. Good carry from Sam Carter. Offload from Falau. Back to White. Yeah. Out. Sloppy from the Wallabies, but Hooper's going to try and settle things and then loses it forward. Handball back. Still playing advantage. Advantage is now over. Bonval. Bonval was about to get cut in half from Tatafi to pull it out. He did well. Uge. Throws a wild one back into the centre of the field for Wesley Fafana. And he's on the 22. Going nowhere at the moment, France. There's the kick under a bit of pressure from Nacheno. And it sits up for Falau running on to it. Girado made the tackle. White. Slipper at the back. Foley. Quick hands. Ball pass, but... Cleaned up by Ashley Cooper, one of the four try scorers in the first half. And set things up again. Simmons. Slipper. Tackled by Johan Maestri. Foley to Mura. Cummins. Here comes. Hasn't seen a lot of ball tonight. Needs to start roving around in behind Matt Tamua looking for a bit more ball. And Foley taps it up. Just read that one. Girardo. 
back to uh, Michelak. He's right. Going into scrum half is Fafana. They want to get out of there at long last. The kick from Michelak. Nick White back at fullback because Israel Falau was up in the line. Bonval tackled on halfway. Use it! Michelak. It's really slow ball for the French. They need to either pick and drive and get in behind the Wallaby defensive line or a little chip over the top to try and break this defensive line. Leroux taking it forward. Almost to the halfway. Now it's Mass. Just no penetration. Michelot trying to get something going on the left. Gives it to Felix Lebris. Still around that halfway mark. Michelot, Michelac. Gave it to Rodrigo. Seven goals, let go! Well, red defensive is Sakopi Kepu. Is it? Julek to Domingo. Ashano dribbles it out the back. Rodrigo under some pressure. So they've lost 10 metres. And the kick over the top from Michelak, read there by Foley on halfway. It was the right idea. That's what they needed to do. Gurabrani starts to move. That was a pretty ordinary pass in the end. Oh, it was the right idea too, because he stood up a couple of players. Let's go sideline. Rod Kafer has a very special guest, Wallaby coach, Ewan McKenzie. Ewan, you're happy with that first half. The team played pretty well. Lots of points on the scoreboard. Yeah, we did a good, good job of playing down there, end and um, we kept them under pressure. So, so you know, we converted some of those that, those pressure moments, which is good. You know, I think um, there's inevitably going to be some errors, but um, I think we've been pretty positive. Stephen Moore, how is he? Yeah, he's got, a, he's got, he's got a, obviously hurt his knee. Uh, hopefully, it's a medial injury, and uh, he'll get a scan straight after the game. So, no good more. Expectations now in the second half. What do, what do the Wallabies need to do to keep in front? Well, we're aware that they're, they're, you know, they're going to play with uh, all the risk that, they, uh, that they're accustomed to, so uh, we, need to be, we need to be disciplined and keep doing the basics well. Um, you know, we think there's opportunities off turnovers. We've got some good guys on the bench. I'll obviously introduce them and uh, see how we go. Enjoy. Thanks, man. And of Ashley Cooper, and he's got Cummins over the 22. Cummins for the corner, pulled down. Centimeters out. I'm going to Kurandrani head down, tries to burrow his way over. To the short side they go. Ashley Cooper, has he got a double? He's pretty happy, um, Ashley Cooper. I think he's got there. Well, it's a bit, it's got to be a penalty yeah. try. Yeah, that's yeah. official like offside. I couldn't tell you where he got yeah. offside. He's still on coming back. He's too hard to tell. He's tight and clean. He's offside. He's offside. He's not. That's right. Ben. Yes, Craig. You're in the frame, so two things we're looking at. I don't believe it has been grounded, but have a look at that second. First, we're looking at blue 10 coming back, whether he gets back to an onside position before making the tackle. Checking footage first to see if blue 10 has affected a tackle from an offside position. Yeah. Great break from Adam Ashley Cooper, though, midfield. Yeah. Done so much of that this year with the New South Wales Waratahs. He actually had, I think it was Bernard Foley on his right-hand side, unmarked. He didn't see him. Probably just passed a little bit too early to Nick Cummins. Lovely break. Has he got this over the line? Pick and drive. Matt Tamua, look on the right-hand side. Matt Tamua with his arm up. Let the ball go to Nick Cummins. Did really well to stay in field. Bonval, a good tackle. French fullback. To be to Drani having a go. Then Adam Ashley Cooper just stays on the left-hand side. And then you, does he get this down? 
Frederick Michelak. Was Michelak on side? Was one of the questions to the television match official. Yeah, and it begs the question, is it a penalty try? Because had he not been there, AAC would have gone straight over, you'd assume. Doesn't look like he's got that down. You watch on the left-hand side of your screen, Freddie Michelak, the number 10 for France, trying to get back on side. Here he comes now, just before Adam Ashley Cooper gets the ball. So you would say if it's a no try, Clarkie, probably a penalty to the Wallabies, potentially. The space was out to the right when Tavita Kurandrani actually picked the ball up. So Michelak, was he onside when the ball came out? Well, he never got back onside. And that's pretty clear. And if he wasn't there... It'd be a try for sure. It'd be a try for sure. It has to be a penalty try. Michelak almost gets back onside. He's, he's out not, now. He's almost not, not good enough, that Rod Kafer. I'm with you. Penalty try for mine. Now they'll check the grounding. Okay, Ben, if any of you guys might like to show me again is the angle, this one. Sorry, I missed that. I need to see that again. He did make a pretty good effort, though, to get back on side, but you've got to be behind the last feet of that ruck. That's over the line, and the ball is held up. And can you face the free scrimmage as the ball comes out the ruck? Also producer to do that. It's not about the question whether the ball was grounded. It's the question where Freddie Michelak, was he back on side when he made the tackle on Adam Ashley Cooper? It's out there, and uh, Michelak not on side when White picked the ball up. Got to be a penalty try. He's not there. Two on one, Adam Ashley Cooper. Nick Cummins, one of those two scores for sure. Still looking at offside. Well, here's the, or the orange boot you can see there is the last foot. And that's where Freddie Michelak needed to retire to. He never does. He's in an offside position, never got onside. He's a metre out from the line. Adam Ashley Cooper's 50 centimetres off the ground. If he wasn't there, I suspect he scores the try. It's a pretty simple one for mine. Let's get on with the game. Well, there's got to be no doubt in the referee's mind if he awards a penalty try that a try was going to be scored. Bonval was there as well, a fullback making a tackle. OK, Ben, so we've got a particularly marginal uh, situation where 10, originally 10 blue, doesn't appear to be uh, onside. Then at the last minute, I do believe he brings his second foot back into an onside position before he makes the tackle. So I'm actually comfortable that he's done enough for that to be considered onside and we go on to a, a non-grounding. How does that sound to you? Craig, I agree with you. Yeah. I believe he has put himself onside yeah. and without any evidence of a grounding. Yeah. So after all that, Michelin did enough to get onside before making the tackle. Good now. He wasn't grounded, so we're going to have a five-metre scrum. And uh, here come the French reinforcements, 19, 17 and 18 coming on. So that's Flancard in 19, Dabati in 17 and Slimani in 18. So two props, two new props for the French and a second rower. And so Bryce Dulan has come onto the field, the speedster. And I can tell you, sitting on the sideline, they need this energy, this impact from their bench. New front row, will play new threats in the Australian front row in this particular scrum. Wind! Set! Hits and chase. Well, well away, it's done for all that. Falling over, hits and chasing. Second time tonight, the Wallabies will be penalised for hitting and chasing, not letting the scrum just settle. They want to put some real pressure on this line out and pin the French in their own territory. Take back that try that Adam Ashley Cooper was denied earlier. 
A couple of changes for the Wallabies as well. Kepu is off, so Paddy Ryan who is on, and Waito Palu, his 50th test match is over. He's been replaced by Ben McKelman. So Simmons gives it to White, down to Foley. Quick recycle for White, the new man. From the Western Force, Ben McKelman. Again, he's been superb. Needs to fight to get to the ground, though. Galfiku holding him up. Now it's there for White. Sadi. Side ball from Tabua, Ashley Cooper, Falau. Great ball and a great finish from Matt Cummins. The Honey Badger has a bit of meat at Suncorp. Beautiful to watch. A good set piece play from the Wallabies. A decoy play. Because defensively, the French had about 10 players there in the defensive line. Put a ball in behind. Nick Cummins waited at the right moment. And then there's Israel Folau. Nice little switch play with Nick Cummins. And watch the play here. Bernard Foley putting a lovely ball back inside. Quick hands from Matt Tamua. Israel Folau. Show and go on the outside. Back to Nick Cummins. Good try from the Wallabies. Nicely worked. And they restructured their attack. The Wallabies were a bit flat-footed on the short side and allowed the back line to get some depth. And then they created that penetration. With Adam Ashley Cooper running one line, Israel Folau on the outside. And it is just a beautiful deft touch from Matt Tamua. His distribution skills and his strength in the midfield draws people to him. Israel Folau benefits on the end of the line with a little switch back to Nick Cummins, and he finishes nicely. Yeah, plenty of bodies in motion there. You like that. It forces the French defenders to have to make decisions. And you see there, surely he chased down on Matty Tamua. He opened that hole up on the inside for Adam Ashley Cooper, and that led to the try. France in trouble. The Australian cricket team sitting down here. They're delighted by the Nick Cummins try. Australian cricket team sitting right in behind Sharpie and I, and they are thrilled. Thrilled with the try. Foley, 10 metres in from touch. And this one is over. So... Scoreline looking very good now for the Wallabies. 36 points to nine. Nick Cummins, four tries in his last four test matches. Yeah, has done a lot of ball to play with tonight, Nick Cummins, but when you're playing outside a guy like Israel Folau, it was lovely hands too from Adam Ashley Cooper to be able to get the ball away in traffic to Israel Folau. Rob Simmons putting that one down. 15 away! Shaver Robson, he's had a really good game tonight. His line-out work's been completely dominant. Plenty of carries, involvements, defence. One of the criticisms of the game from time to time, Sharp, is he gives away a lot of penalties, doesn't he? And he, he knows he does it. He just seems to keep doing it. That's, that's right, Kat. He's like a, he's like a good up inside flanker in a different position, I suppose. He, pushing those limits and, and you're right certain games gets penalized a little bit too much but you've got to temper that with the ability of still getting in and, and treating every line out or more as a contest you see france more than one the robson is down in back play so the world is one short line out time and the french desperate for their first try of this match and the kick start their tour we can go from the new man from cart It is May Street. Oh, yeah. LaRue coughs it up. Carter was there. There's a tackle from Matt Tamua on Flancart. And White looks for the safety of the touchline on the far side. So Sam Carter Johnny on the spot there to pick the ball up and having a pretty good debut. Sam Carter, so he completes the latest father-son wallaby pairing first since jake and pat howard since 1993 he's a top tackler at the moment for the wallabies 14 tackles so far in this match five runs as well 
Mum and Dad here from Corindai, country New South Wales watching. People in Tamworth up the road will be pretty happy too to see Paddy Ryan on there. Good to see the country boys in gold. Surely he's tried hard, the number eight. Now it is through the hands out wide and up to the fullback. He's got vile, good defence though. Advantage for France. And that is going to beat everybody in the touch. No advantage there. Penalties for Tavita Kurandrani not rolling away from the breakdown. Thanks, Paul. He was the one who made the big tackle. Bang, there it was. Tavita Kurandrani. Well, it worked for Fana. He was trying to roll away. He was trying to roll over the top of him. <laughs> France really not offering a great deal in attack tonight. They haven't troubled the Wallabies more than on one or two occasions. They're going to have to... Go away, have a think about things and turn up in this next game ready to go. As we see, this is probably the first or second attacking opportunity in the second half with some decent field position and some possession. Wallaby's not the only Australian team at the stadium tonight. The cricketers are here as well. <laughs> Brian Harris spotted first on the big screen. Dave Warner there, Mitchell Johnson, Brad Haddon. They've got a training camp up here in Brisbane for two weeks. They've had a big day. They played golf this morning. And out to Eagle Farm for the Stradbroke Day. The races that were on today and then here tonight as well. So, a very big day for the boys. Yeah, they've got a crowd favourite in, in the Honey Badger. They absolutely love Every time he touches the ball, they go up in chorus. So, Fiku. Hitting it up in midfield, I should know, to front card. Can the Wallabies hold them out? Inside ball, Kabati. 20 goals! National Michelin. Fafana. That's a poor pass. For Huge. Run away, 20! Oh, terrible pass again. Numbers, here we go. Kieran Brady to Falau. Inside ball. Ashley Cooper. Re they regroup well. France. Oh, and then the diving pass there. But the, this is going to be a penalty anyway. Machinal was the halfback for French. Getting offside. You see Peck Cowan warming up on the side. And also Curtly Beal right in front of you, Kaif. Yeah, Curtly and Nick Phipps all here ready to go on. Pick Cowan in multi coloured headgear, keen to get into the action. Well, it's been a few years since he played in the Wallaby Gold. Wonderful season so far for the Force. Interesting to see yeah, where Curtly Beal goes to, whether he goes to 10, and Matsumura staying at 12. Matsumura leaving the field, so Renan Foley will stay at fly half and Curly Bill will be an inside centre where they play for the Waratahs. Well played those three, especially James Slipper on his birthday. A wonderful effort. So it's going to be double celebrations for him. Foley. Phipps. McCalman. Rodrigo makes the tackle. Deal first touch. Out of the pass there. A lot of traffic, a lot of pressure on Kurandrani, so he coughed it up. Fafana. Moves Gulan. Brings one over. And Babal. Gets up and has another crack. Good run from Shumi. He's played well tonight, Damien Shuley, number eight. Fofana, Bouchelak. There's obstruction there. Antoine Bapan was able to get into the clear. It was Debati that might have been in front. It was Debati. 
36 to 9. Yeah, Timmy Shula. Surely he's been fantastic tonight in a beaten team. Carried well. His line has been very, very tidy. Plenty of work. Expect to see him in the team again next week, no doubt. Yeah, I think it'll be a different French team next week when some of the players obviously played in the top 14 final last Saturday, having been selected in this team. Thierry Dussetrois coming back from injury. Louis Picamol as well. On the ball, please. Maintain the gap. Who don't close? Adrian McKelman. Pips. Good run, Paddy Ryan. Phipps. And running into the gap is Hooper. And he's got Phipps with him. Inside the 22, the Wallabies. Carter. Oh, and then the penalty goes side. against the attacking team. Put it down, put it down. Entry 20, 18. Yeah, frustrating there. Uh, Great down. charge from Sam Carter. Really starting to bustle along, making some metres in his carries as the game's opened up. Paddy Ryan, just a legal entry from the side. It's a shame Australia was well and truly on the front foot there. Great break from Michael Hooper. Runs that line. Really, really well. Just that one outside, the, the tighter forwards. A couple of guys on his inside, just on that little unders line, back at the ball. And Hooper just spots that gap that the third defender of the French line steps across. Look at the line breaks there. Just one for the French, so many for the Wallabies. That's why they're leading 36 points to nine. They'll do it all again in Melbourne next week. It runs through the legs by France. Out. Kept in by Rouget. The run. Straight up in the air. Cummins. Courageous take. Just inside French territory. He skips. Then the common going in the half back. Slow ball again. Foley to Beal. Delivers a beautiful ball to Curran Grani. Beal is racing up on his outside. And Curly Beal scores the try for the Wallabies. What a handy player to come off the bench, Curly Beal. Bernard Foley started a little decoy play, which gives the Wallaby back line a bit more depth to play with. And just watch the line in support that Curtly Beal runs here. For all the junior rugby players, after you give a pass, watch the line that Curtly Beal takes and tracks through on Tavita Kurandrani. Decoy play behind. Beal gives it wide. And then inside, Curtly Beal just tracks him. Does he go left? Does he go right? He stays on the left-hand side. A lovely pass from Tavita Kurandrani to put Curtly Beal over. Well, he's used that second wave play really well tonight at, at first in the first half they really struggled to get it going but as this game's worn on the last sort of 10 or 15 minutes we saw the Nick Cummins try come off it with Adam Ashley Cooper running an inside line and players holding their width and depth on the outside and then we saw it again and the support play from Kirtley was really nice Tavita Kurandrani a little no look pass did exactly what he needed to do when you're in space once you get in space you've got to make decisions and he did the right thing he just pinned it at the fullback drew him and threw the offload at the right time for Kirtley Beal Wesley Fafana was the one that got stood up the inside centre for the French it was two on two but it was the angle that Davida Kirandrani went off his left foot and straightened the attack up Anatoly looking to add the extras and it holds its line again so 43 points to nine well, there's one wallaby supporter that's had enough going to sleep 
plenty of Wallaby supporters here. Be just over 35, 36,000 people at Suncorp Stadium. So six tries. And uh, that's the most tries by the Wallabies on Australian soil since the win over Fiji back in 2010. Falau, he has one of the six tries. Good position of play from Israel Falau off the restarts. Stands midfield to take those high balls. Ashinato is off and a very handy replacement is on there in Morgan Perrard. And from Vermont. And here we go with Falau. There's plenty of options. And it's the new man, Pat McKay. He snuck on the field. And he is over for a five-pointer. 48 points tonight with the kick to come from right in front. And there is time for more. And Pat McCabe just come onto the field just after the try. Curtly Beal, it's his fifth test try. Pat McCabe playing on the right wing. The Wallabies shifting wide again. Israel Folau once again standing up. Wesley Fafana. Unselfish from Israel Folau. Positioned himself really well. Saw Pat McCabe on his right hand side. And the Wallabies with no specialist winger. Pat McCabe. Coming on playing on the, on the right wing and getting his first try. Yeah, the idea correct from the Wallabies. And I tell you what, they would absolutely love having Israel Folau. They know if they get the ball out to space, generally with a bit of room to move, Israel's going to beat one-on-one -on -one defender just about every single time. And if he doesn't offload, he's going to go straight through the middle, causing havoc like that. It's, it's officially become a rout for the French tonight. And that brings up the half-century with the Australian cricketers in the stand and plenty of supporters wearing gold. They are delighted with this one. When the Wallabies scored a 30-point victory at Suncorp, this venue back in 2008 against France, it was the biggest win over Le Bleu in Australia. Oh, I think the tears might be welling up in those French eyes. So this is going to be a record-breaking night on Australian soil for the Wallabies against France. Turnover good. The turnover is good, and so we might see a little bit of the French passion finally coming through here if they can just get their first try. Spinning out of the tackle there was Perard. And I think he was pretty close. More than no, held up. Yep. Yep. Desperate defense. I think he wants to have a look upstairs. Ben, you're on the phone. He's great. I believe a try has been scored unless you can give me a reason otherwise. Checking footage for a reason. Yeah. Morgan he was signaling, yeah, he was signaling yeah. to go to the TMO rather yeah. than being held up. He's just come on the field as well. Morgan Parab. And half back. Well, there's some excited French supporters. Inside well behind here, Morgan Parab. Did he get on the trial on in his first go. Sniping through, Ben McCallum was the one trying to make the tackle. Michael Hooper went low. Initially it didn't look like the ball was on the line, maybe it was the second move. And short there. James Horwell on top, Ben McCalman in front. Is any part of the ball on the white line there? That's what the television match official is looking for. It's short there. Corner post cam. Craig, I have a decision. Yeah, Ben, standing by. I have no clear reason. Yeah. Excellent. I've seen a part of the ball on the trial line, so it's a try. Try at long last to France. A little happier now, their fans. And it's the replacement. Morgan Parar. 55th test appearance for him. His third try. 
He's a good player, Morgan Perrault. Wouldn't be surprised if he's in the test starting lineup next week. And the French take on the Wallabies in Melbourne. Plays for the Clermont club. Good sparking player. And his combination with Freddie Michelak may be the opportunity they need for next week. Michelak. It's a good strike. And it's over. So he moves into second on the all time point scoring list for France. Still a long way to go. To put respectability on the scoreline, though, 50 points to 16 at the moment. Well, in 2010, in Paris, the Wallabies won 59 16. Drew Mitchell three tries in that match. Still seven minutes to go in this test match. Fell out. Making the good throw in. Back it goes to Phipps and Foley. And there's a charge down so it's play on the French have it just inside Australian territory Michelak looks up Nick Cullen's positioned himself beautifully there and he'll run it back into the traffic five short of halfway oh that's poor at the back and it's towed through from Fafana Foley losing his footing and it's been picked up now by the 22 Lamara. Gets it out now to Kabati. Real opportunity here for the French. But have they turned it over? They've knocked it on. Kick forward and throwing down scrum. We'll have the scrum. Okay. Wallaby be put in. And Nick Fibbs just getting his arm touched as he threw that ball to the left and the ball going to the ground. The reserves, though, you'd say Sharpie have come on and actually made a difference for the French, yeah, haven't they? They definitely have. They've brought a bit of energy to the, to the game. and You can see here that they haven't given up the ghost, which is a good sign for next week for them. They're going to come back and bounce back strongly. There's no doubt about that. A few team changes. They'll look to really contest next week. It's coming back to the scrum that's about to pack here. The Wallaby set piece has been very, very good tonight. And it's an area that I think France perhaps would have been able to have an edge. Puts it in, takes it out, gives it to Cummins. Beal. Coming forward is Bruce Gillon. 18 away, 19. Good run. Good run. And he offloads. Oh, and then they drop it up for Fana, couldn't control it. Wasted opportunity. One inch. One shot. Right to Lan. Again, another chance. Tolafour is on there in 16. Around Hooker. Oh, it's far from pulling out. Solid tackle midfield. Four guards, four! No. Use it. Marat. Marat offloading. Pulling through the hands. Takes the youngster, Tolafour. To get them over the advantage line and good support by Lamara back on the inside and good hands from Maestri. Now it's gone forward. And Cummins goes to ground. Cowan. There come Blue. Bullard. Go straight down the middle of the field. This could go dead. They'll watch it go over the chalk into touch and goal. So they'll come back to where he kicked it from. Three minutes remaining. 50 points to 16. Wallabies over.
France. Well, the Wallaby coaching staff will be pretty happy. 33,000 just over at Suncorp Stadium. New McKenzie, Andrew Blades. And so Jim Mackay, the attack coach, has done really well with the set-piece plays from the Wallaby back line. Coming into tonight, the Wallabies have lost their two previous encounters at Suncorp. They had never lost three in a row at this venue, so they keep that record intact. Remember, the Wallabies failed to score more than two tries in a home test last year. They had six internationals. So in the first test in 2014, they have seven tries already. That's the penalty. Overextending, tight head goal. Goes against the scrum. Overextending. Paddy Ryan, Overextending, second penalty tonight. Overextending. Probably a bit worried about chasing his feet up. He's penalised earlier for that. He's going to need to adjust moving forward. A bit of a concern for both teams is the missed tackles in this match. 30 missed tackles for France and 23 for the Wallabies. And that's one area that Ewan McKenzie will look at. Nick Scrivenger, the defence coach, will want to look at how they set their structure up defensively. Just falling off a couple of first up tackles. Christoph Tolafora throwing into the line out. Coming away with it is Babam. There are inside ball, but of a no look pass to Vincent de Bati. And they're still trying the French for Fana. Pick and go here. Slimini. Three or four metres out. They need to keep it alive. The French going to ground is Hancart. Barat. And this man deserves to try. Truly. It's a ball. Ball is held up. Five metre scrum blue. Held up. He won't even go upstairs. Good's convinced it was held up. A good defence, James Hall. Got himself over the ball. Also Sam Carter as well. Yep. Ben McCalman was in there. Thank you. Ball held up, blue scrum. Sam Carter, 17 tackles so far in this match. And seven runs. Good debut for the youngster. <laughs> Slemony, what a run. He's done one sort's coming on. Ball! Oh, yeah. was the one who got his hands on the ball. Yep. Ball is held up. Five metres scrum blue. Held up. Great vision there, seeing exactly what transpired. You're right, Sam Carter's had a very good game tonight. Super debut. The Wallabies, as a unit, have played well tonight. Totally dominant. Oh, the French are now on a nine-game losing streak on Australian yeah, soil. Yeah, I've got it, I've got it. Dating back to 1990 in Sydney. Um, you don't come down head on head, you come outside. Find long, please, off the shoulder. Okay. Yes. Yes. The French still haven't won in Brisbane since 1972. Next week they do it all again. Head Stadium in Melbourne next Saturday night. Crouch. Bind. Set. Barat puts it in. Siren sounds in the background. Will the French have the final say? It's a penalty try. They will. Penalty try to France. The contest. So they'll take a little bit out of that. Heading into Melbourne next week. Well, that's that'll it. just mean that the Wallabies will have to work on that scrummaging. Yeah, that's a new new front row. Tolafua, Dabati and also Slimily. And they came through as one. They drove as eight. And the Wallaby pack just shearing off to the left. Yeah, difficult situation there. The Wallabies, as you say, Tim, they walked around there. France, what they did well, they kept their front row straight and square and drive through like an arrow straight through that Wallabies pack. They'll be really disappointed to finish the game that way. They competed well all night until that point. Converted by Michelac. So that is full time at Suncorp Stadium. 
And the Wallabies off to a winning start in 2014. They led 29 to 9 at half time, got out to 50 points to 9. Bit of a late rally from the French to put some respectability into the scoreline, scoring the try to Parar and then the penalty try. So full time at Suncorp Stadium, Australia 50, France 23. A good play from the Wallabies, good start to their season.